Good evening. New tonight, we now know where President Obama plans to stop when he visits this coming Thursday. The White House says that he'll appear at Maynard New Tech High School and Applied Materials in North Austin. It's part of his middle class jobs and opportunity tour. As Robert Maxwell explains, the visit will likely come with its share of traffic headaches, just like the president's visit two years ago. 35 northbound slowing down through the downtown area from Riverside to 290. And Think you know Austin's infamous rush hour traffic now? Thursday could rise to one long rush hour as the presidential motorcade snakes its way across the region as it did in May two years ago. President Obama is expected to make a stop this year at Maynard's New Tech High School. Maynard's not more than a couple miles to the east here, and so depending on when the president arrives and departs, this major confluence of roadways, we've got 290, 130, East Palmer, they could all be delayed and backed up for an inordinate amount of time. Nobody downtown's going to understand that we can't get out of Maynard, Texas. <laughs> that's, that's the issue there. Traffic's already come up in the conversation at Jim Brown's heating and air conditioning shop. Here, based out of this one street town, service calls are his bread and butter. We've already instructed everybody, you know, if you're going to leave Thursday, try that route. And if they have it blocked off for anything, any reason, then I don't know what we'll do. The problem is law enforcement can't share a whole lot. We're just part of the game. We're just Everyone's mixed in and ready to do what they need to do. And, and uh, I, again, I can't go into too much detail. Since they want to make sure the routes are as secure as possible. Brown, meantime, is waiting with the rest of us to learn when we might catch a glimpse from our driver's seats of the president. Could be jammed up, stuck in Maynard. Not don't a worry. bad place to get stuck in. All right, we know already, by the way, of one event being canceled because of the expected traffic Thursday. We hear the Scottish Rite Theater performance with puppeteer Leslie Carrara Rudolph will not go on Thursday evening. We'll keep you posted. Back to you. And even without a presidential visit, Austin is one of the worst cities in America for traffic. Going in depth now, Austin is near the top of the list, number four. The city follows Los Angeles, Honolulu, and San Francisco, the capital city now considered more congested than even New York City. The study by Enrix found drivers wasted an average of 42 hours a year in these cities. That's the equivalent to one week of vacation. Governor Rick Perry says he's happy the president is starting his jobs tour in our state. A statement released today says we welcome President Obama to Texas. He will find a state that has been very successful in creating jobs and a healthy state economy. The statement went on to say Texas serves as a blueprint for job creation for the rest of the country.